Yeah, yeah, check one, two, check one, two. Is this mic on? Is this mic on? Hey, listen, man. It's the one and only Trent set of DJ Sense, and you're listening to Cocktails. Dirty Discussions with Kiki and Medina Monroe. Yeah. Today's cocktail is called Juicy. The ingredients you need for Juicy is two ounces of tequila, a half ounce of fresh lime juice, grapefruit soda to top it off, and a garnish. You need a lime wheel for garnish. So this is what you're going to do to make it juicy. You're going to add the tequila and the lime juice to a highball glass filled with ice, fill with grapefruit soda, and stir briefly. Pour into a cocktail glass and enjoy juicy. I like it. Mm-hmm. You too. I need that. <laughs> okay. I wish I had some tequila, some wine, some something. But tequila. It's all I like drink. Now I got a little crown today. Sure. Oh. <laughs> Oh, um, well, hey. welcome. Hey, girl, welcome back to Cocktails Dirty Discussions, you guys. Um, what's been up, girl? Just you know, my normal little life has been up trying to make a little extra coins. Um, I'm still working from home, which for me has been a blessing. I know for some people, they're like, oh, I'm going stir crazy, I need to get out, but I've been keeping myself busy. Um, with different projects. So uh, nothing new is really up for you guys. I need you to download the Dipsy app, use my code, and and listen to the stories. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to Dallas this weekend. Mm, I'm in Dallas right now. Um, it's my mom's birthday we're, when we're recording. So it'll have passed by the time you, get, you guys hear this episode. But we're having a surprise dinner party, even though somebody may have spilled the beans already. But she just knows she's getting dressed up and getting ready. I swear. Who it's just spilled the damn beans? Joseph. You already know, because the boys just don't be listening sometimes. My brother did that for Father's Day. I was like, why would you? But I know she's going to pretend like it's a surprise, because even when I saw her earlier, she's like, oh, my God, you came to see me. I feel like a queen today. And I was like, I talked to you last night. You asked me what time I was coming, like whatever. But anyway, I'm here. I'm at my sister's house. Um, We're getting ready to have a dinner party for her and we've set it up super cute so i'm really excited about it um and i'll be here for a while and then um my dad's birthday is tomorrow doing the same thing all over again and then i'm done with birthdays till next month and um yeah that's kind of it i want you guys to make sure that if you haven't already to pre-order phoenix leave that alone to pre-order the uh sorry that's my niece uh to pre-order the my cookbook i have a hard copy and a digital copy pre-sale is going to end july 31st after that it will no longer be discounted um there might be a few copies left i'm not sure i need to check the numbers but that's it for me so if you go to kiki said so.com you can find it and then of course as always order your shoot orgasms and use my code kiki said so and order my taste pills and by the way well, our we taste got pills Britney from dip. Taste. This pretty uh, blonde-headed Amber Rose look-alike uh, no, that, that we got so here. She <laughs> is the creator of Taste. Is that correct? Yes, I am. I am the creator, uh, founder, and CEO of Taste Vita Inc. Uh, mm-hmm. Kiki said it made her pussy taste like some cinnamon rolls. Yes, oh, that was the review I got. <laughs> but here's what I want to know, <laughs> Kiki. Amber what? Kiki. Should you be, should we take the vitamins? Because I took the vitamins too. Now I followed the bottle, how it said, like, you know, take them two hours prior to when you're going to be sexually active. And what it did for me was it made my cum super, super thin. And to me, it made it just taste like Evian water, like a super clean mountain water. I didn't get any of the fruity vibes or the cinnamon. It still tasted different, but it wasn't like I was really aiming for the cinnamon roll. Damn. So do I, I need to take it for the week? Yes, I would definitely recommend taking it daily. So you are supposed to take two capsules daily for the best results, but you can also take two hours prior to two sets as well. Okay, so because I'm going to Dallas on Friday. My flight is in the evening. Take I'm two right now. <laughs> hey, get look, started. I'm going to um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop my pills right now. <laughs> Got them right here. I'm, too. I'm not even sexually active at the moment. Uh-huh. I take two every day because... One day somebody's gonna come my life and I'm gonna change their life. Yeah. So um so you're single then. Um what is your sexual orientation? I'm straight. Okay. All right. You love what? I love men. Oh yeah, I love them too. You so you don't deal with women? 
No, no, I get asked this a lot. I don't know if it's my short haircut. It's because your hair is short. My, my it's your short haircut and a tattoo. Yeah, my best friend Paula, <laughs> she looked just like you. She just brown skin. And she's like, why am I always the gay friend? I'm like, it's your haircut. I love women, though. I think that women are beautiful. I just haven't experienced a sexual encounter with a woman yet. Okay, okay. So, Brittany, okay. we're going to delve more into your life after we um, do a couple more segments. Um, yeah, I'll do weird sex. So, this week's weird sex. You said a man is not a necessity. A man is a luxury, like dessert. <laughs> yeah. A man is absolutely not a necessity. Did you mean that to sound mean and bitter? Oh, or not at all. I adore dessert. I love men. I think men are the coolest. But you don't really need them to live. So this is from Whores of Yore on Twitter. If you don't follow the account, follow it. It is full of all of these random sex facts. Some are historical, some are recent. And then sometimes they just post fine men from like the 60s. Anyway. Ooh, <laughs> it, the 60s. You know, I like them old. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Real now, old. Now, a lot of them are Caucasian. So, you know, if that's not your cup of tea, just submit your granddaddy so that they can mix it up. Anyway, it says in 1311, Pope Clement V condemned as heretical a sect known as the Brethren of the Free Spirit. They spread across France and Germany. The Brethren believed sin did not exist. Ain't no sins out here. And they practiced nudism and encouraged sex as a form of worship. Now, I wonder, (laughs) had I been around in 1311 and free, (laughs) would I have went to visit the Brethren of... uh, the free spirit. I might have been in the sisterhood of the free spirit. <laughs> Bitch, I'm visiting. <laughs> Let's the just be free, okay? Hey, brethren, how y'all doing? What y'all need? You want some macaroni and cheese? You want some pussy? What would you like? <laughs> <laughs> macaroni and cheese and pussy <laughs> oh. but yeah that was just a fun did you know i think i'm gonna do a few did you knows for the next couple of weeks before i get back into people committing crimes against people i'm tired of people in their criminal asses anyway i'd be shocked sometimes i'd be like wow niggas is there, out here really committing sexual crimes there is some crazy stuff against animals against people against damn doorknobs anything I was the episode when you guys were talking about the horses, I'm like, that's too much. Mm-hmm. That's too much. It really so, is. So, Brittany, when we have people here on the show, as you probably know because you've listened, um, we like to play a little game. If you're not already loose like us, we like to get you loose. Uh, okay, so, well, loose. Do you have to drink? Well, you should be drinking already, bitch. <laughs> we just drink drinking. Everybody, everybody take a sip. i'm about to be done (laughs) so we have a little game that kiki and i like to play it's called the scenario game um so what we'll do is we will read a scenario to you and you will give you some options and you need to pick one of them okay uh so i'll go first okay all right Bree. it's your first date his ex shows up at the restaurant you were having dinner at and confronts him She's pretty too. She walks up to the table, cusses him out, and just looks at you and rolls her eyes. You, A, excuse yourself from the table and Uber home, never to see him or speak to him again. B, understand that sometimes things like this happen. Just watch how he handles it, but stay and finish dinner. Or C, fight for your man. You got time today. Definitely not C. <laughs> um, we grown. I'm gonna go with B. I'm gonna go with B. I'm never mm-hmm. gonna be out fighting. Maybe. It, how good is the dick? You we already had that. sex yet. This the first. It's date. the first date. Oh, first date. Oh, it's the first date. Oh no. A. A. I'm at, I'm. I'm leaving. Yeah. No. Get that together. And then come talk to me. Kiki, what you doing? You gonna leave? First of all, that's not my man. Um, yeah, I'm leaving. Mm-hmm. Or I might just sit there and eat and just never call him again. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, can I get a to-go box? Go. My name get them. <laughs> <laughs> you wrap this up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all the sauces. I would like all the sauces. But I want, I'm trying to think, has that ever happened to me? I don't think so. I think I've gotten some dirty looks and I'm like, oh, you must have fucked with her before. That's Whatever. a bad feeling. It does. It can happen. Okay, next one. You and Bay 
have been talking about having a threesome. He has never had one before and he wants you to handle everything. Of course he does. One day, one day you tell him you found the perfect girl to mix juices with. You send him a picture. He says you have bad taste and sends a new picture of an old college friend of his who said she is DTF. You a say, I thought you wanted me to handle it. You had a bitch on standby. I don't want to do it anymore because you are sneaky. B agree with him and move forward with a threesome or C start over from scratch. Find a new girl. Is she really um, thinking hard? She really, she's like, well, you know what? Uh, this nigga really was. You had the bit. Okay, I'm going to go with it? B because agree with him and move forward. I'm going to trust his taste. I'm sure that she's a bad bitch too. Mm-hmm. I'm going to move forward. Let's try it out. But next time is on me. You know what? And I actually appreciate that you went with B because that was the, you know what? Let me not be the angry black woman. And let me just let my man, you, you didn't like who I picked. You, you were prepared and I'm not upset about it. That's fine. That's fine. Get it. Both have okay. eyes that like attractive things. So, okay. Yeah. He had his type. This is what he wanted to do. I'm gonna give you what you want, baby. And mm-hmm. you're going to buy me some Chanel sneakers. Okay. So last one, you go over to Bay's house. And he has a planned threesome without running it by you. There's a pretty bitch laying butt ass naked in your bed waiting for the both of you. You, (laughs) A, jump in the shower, freshen up, and then dive into her pussy. Or B, kick her out. Or C, kindly tell her she needs to leave and cuss Bay out. He obviously has communication issues. See. Really? Yes, because I don't want to walk into some shit. Okay. We need to communicate, and this needs to be something that we agree on, especially like if it's our first time. I don't want just some random bitch in my bed. Yeah, and you I didn't know it. about it. This yeah, just happened to my friend. That's why I put that I'm gonna say, who did this happen to? <laughs> she fucked her though. She was like, she was like, why would you? But they still fucked. She got in the shower and then they fucked and everything was great. I, what what I, would I you do, Kiki? I feel like I would still fuck her. If I had no idea that she was going to be No there, idea. You're getting off of work. You're coming home. Like we live lunch. together? Mm-hmm. I don't know how I would act, honestly. I don't, it depends on day of the week. If I went to happy hour before I came home, I might be DCF too. But if not, I'm going to be like, did you think this was okay? Then I'm going to start feeling like, were y'all already doing something? Then you looked at the time. So you was like, oh, let me just play like I invited you home. I don't know. But if I'm already in my I cup. I didn't even think about that. See, I'm going to be thinking about all kind of stuff. No, a, surpri- a surprise would be cool under normal circumstances. Like if we had talked about it and I was like, you know, I'm cool with a surprise. You know, you should surprise me one day. And we had already had this conversation. So it was like in the atmosphere. I and of course, but it was in the atmosphere. And then I came home one day. I'd be like, okay. But if it was just like, you can't surprise me like that. You got to make sure the surprise is okay. I just need a surprise time, not a surprise event. You feel me? <laughs> Brittany, have you ever had a threesome? Never. Oh, so you don't like bitches at all. You're really not into <laughs> don't like bitches at all. I've just never had a threesome. I don't, I don't know why. I'm totally open to it. My last relationship was actually for, for a pretty long time, for about well, not a pretty long time, but a year and a half. And I, I opened that door and he didn't want to. He's like, I really just don't want to see anybody fucking you except for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm down though. If ever, <laughs> if ever you're ready, I'm down. You're down for a threesome with two girls and a guy or two guys and you? Two girls and a guy. Okay. I tried to do that with my ex and he actually wasn't with it either. He was like, what? A lot you- of guys aren't. They try to make it seem like every man is going to be okay with it. That's not always true. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I well, well, and he cheated on me. So it's like, so you did want to fuck another bitch, just not with me. You just want me to be prim <laughs> and proper, and you want to go out and have right. all the fun. Oh, okay. What? I see. You. Boyfriend. Not right. okay. Right. Okay. So anyway, that's it for the scenario oh. game. So we wanted to talk to you a lot about oral sex and tips and things like that. But first, like, what even made you create the taste vitamins? So. I I started, uh, sorry, I started developing it about two and a half years ago 
And how I started it was I, once I came around friends and started talking about different things that I wanted to do and um, their sexual experiences, I noticed that the one common issue in a lot of bedrooms was the taste. Um, So men want women to swallow, obviously. Mm -hmm. And women want men to give them head until they come. But the issue is, was the taste. They, they weren't liking the taste. So I said, why don't I figure out a formula where I can improve the taste? Mm-hmm. So I did that. I developed it um, with a couple of chemists, went back and forth, like I said, for two and a half years um, until I perfected it. Um, and then obviously my own personal experiences too. I've given oral sex and I've, t- and I've swallowed and been like, fuck, this is disgusting. Mm-hmm. So Ooh, that gave me it like, can be very bitter. What did that no, mean? No, 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 no. What did it taste like? No, asparagus? Time, no, not even asparagus. It was like um the dookie water. Well, not. Like hot dog water. <laughs> no, oh. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> it was just not good. <laughs> it just wasn't good. Like I don't know how to explain it. Like I even wanted to spit it out, but I didn't want to be too rude. So I didn't spit it out, but I wanted to spit it out. So that gave me even more push to develop it because it was a problem in my own bedroom. Mm-hmm. So, so let me ask you this. Like, like Speaking of developing a vitamin, I'm curious to know when you first were like, I'm going to make a vitamin. Were you confused on where to begin at? How do you just find chemists? Like what are, what's the process in finding a chemist? Well, prior to me um, creating taste, I had an online women's boutique um, that I was co-owner in for eight years. Mm -hmm. So I'm very familiar with finding a product that I want and, and developing it or manufacturing it. So Google is your best friend. So instantly when I figured out what I wanted to do, I Googled. Um, I went through probably about four different um, Nutra labs before I, I found the one that I wanted to go with. What made you pick the one that you wanted to go with? And, and, and you have to like dumb it down for me because I'm the type of person where Google is not my best friend. People will be like, what? you just put it in Google. I'll be putting it in Google and Google brings up all the other shit. And I'll be like, Google, this ain't what the fuck. I just wanted you to tell me how the fuck I can get there. No, you definitely have to research. So I went with two prior companies and they weren't even getting anywhere close to the mark. One company didn't even want to be involved with um, sexual enhancements at all. Um, And then I found a company in Miami who was like, big idea. Let's fucking run with it. And let's not only do this, but let's create a bunch of other shit too. Um, So I just felt more, I just felt more comfortable with the company that I went with and I felt like they were more on board with me to create this product. So what's in it? So we have a uh, pineapple, mango, banana, strawberry, cinnamon, peppermint, all natural uh, powders. So um, a couple of people had hit me up and they were asking me about being allergic to it. I was like, well, read the ingredients, bitch. But um, I mean, that's not the nicest way to say it, but it's like, okay, if you're allergic to those things that's on the ingredient list, then yeah, like if you have a strawberry allergy, don't take the pill. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But have there been have there been any um, adverse effects that people might have? Maybe not from that, but are there any other things in the pill? Because some people are really nervous about taking anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, my nigga wouldn't take it. He old and he thought that he was going to have a heart attack. No. Oh, no. It's literally all natural ingredients. So all of these come from the fruit extracts that are listed on the bottle. There's no hidden ingredients. There's no secret ingredients. Um, Everyone was just so worried that somebody was going to come in and take my formula, which is very possible. Mm -hmm. Um, But I want to be very transparent in what I did because you don't want something to happen 10 years down the line or one year down the line and people are feeling a type of way and it's because of your product. So I made sure that I was very transparent in everything I, that I did and very honest. Well, that's good. So speaking of your nigga didn't want to take them, what would you suggest as tips to convince somebody to take your taste vitamin? Oh, I definitely just opened the capsule and put it in their food. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm just <laughs> because it's um, natural and I got no extra stuff in there. Wait a minute, can, did you can read that? It, is it better to open it's a, a capsule? capsule and put it under my tongue? So what I've had people do is people that don't know how or don't want to take a, a vitamin. Some people can't actually swallow it. Um, so I've had people actually just open up the capsules and dump it in their hand and take it with water. Get, now, but can you sniff it? it on- <laughs> I'm done. Medina, <laughs> don't sniff that not shit. Suggest sniffing it. Oh, y'all, y'all are. T- I'm <laughs> asking for the people. The people need to know. <laughs> Just swallow it. <laughs> Just swallow it with your mouth. <laughs> That is hilarious. You sniff it. That probably would hurt. That's a lot. Well, I don't know what you how much you should be sniffing up your nose. That ain't y'all are making what? Okay. Has anybody ever told you that it does anything else for them? Yes, I've been hearing that it uh, that it's changing the smell of their body. So when they sweat, oh, it's musty. It's more that makes sense. Smell. That's what I'm I've been still hearing. musty, but I'm gonna keep taking the vitamins. Um, <laughs> which one? Do you just like when I go to the gym? Yeah. Like like working out, and you know when you get a lot of sweat and you start mm. to get funky. Like mine still is pretty oniony, but you know. Take time. Yeah. So, <laughs> I've heard it offers the the smell. Your smell uh-huh. is what. Um, what else have I heard? That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, I really like it. I took it with some other pills. Um, that are actually to make you wetter and to increase arousal. Orgasm. Mm-hmm. And I so when, you did. So when I took it, it was just like. This is a cocktail right here. I was up and I was just like, I felt like I was tweaking, but it was just, it wasn't from the pills, you guys. It was just from the experience that I had after taking the pills. And I was just like, this is a deadly combination. Well, see, I love it in a good way. I have to attest, like, I, you remember, Kiki, I was texting the group. I was texting the girls, how can I squirt? And when I mm-hmm. started taking, the taste vitamins and you guys, I need y'all to understand. I am not a squirter. I'm not even a comer. I don't come. So it's like, I enjoy sex, but like with this, even though I said my vagina, like the taste was like a mountain water taste. It was just fresher. It was, but that's good. The cinnamon roll or the mango. Maybe it was, it was really the mint. This nigga just wouldn't stop eating out. my pussy. Mm-hmm. Maybe. And, and I squirted and I had been all weekend. I was taking two two hours prior and I finally squirted for the first time in my life. And I was just like, congratulations. It was an incredible feeling. My soul left my body. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. You You got to relax a little bit. That's what I would suggest. Relax. Just get comfortable. Loosen up. Don't think about it. And concentrate. If you're going to concentrate on anything, concentrate on your pleasure, not his. Because sometimes I think as women, we get so wrapped up in making sure that he's enjoying himself. We forget about us. Like, and the fact that that's enjoy just like it. our nature that just comes. That's just like natural to us. Let's make sure he's enjoying it. Fuck you, nigga. I need mine. I need mm. mine. Speaking of you needing yours, Brit, have you squirted? Are you a squirter? Are you a natural she, squirter? She hasn't. Oh, I've never, I've never squirted before. I think one I time I did, but I didn't. He was eating me out, so I didn't know. I felt like I was, I was squirting, but I didn't know. Mm. We never talked about that either, so I don't mm. know. But no, I'm not a squirter. I would love to be a squirter. Kiki, teach me. <laughs> you gotta use your toys take those she orgasms take your taste use your toys relax do whatever you need to do to relax that's what i do because i've done it a few times with someone else it's not a consistent thing with another person but by myself it's like pretty much an every time thing unless i know bitch you just wash these sheets you don't have time to be soaking up this puddle you got something to do. And another thing, Brent, like what I did this past weekend, I'm not going to act like I am like a 
quarter connoisseur, but like <laughs> I, he suggested that I watch porn while he eats my pussy. And he was like, watch the type of porn that you want me to reenact. So you want me to eat your pussy, watch the type of porn that you want me to eat your pussy like. And so I had to pull up some lesbian porn and it was like sloppy pussy sucking spitting. And then he was like, tell me what she's doing. And then I'll do the same thing. And it created a whole different type of experience. Oh, okay. I've never watched it. I also think like when you, you've never watched porn. You never watched porn, Brittany? During sex. Oh, During- <laughs> I was like, wait, wait a damn minute. Pull the episodes over. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will also say, like, in any experience, whether you're trying to squirt or just, like, have an orgasm, I have found that the more senses that you stimulate, the better. So, sure, your touch and, you know, your genitals is going to be one thing, your mouth if you're using that. But, like, have them touch other erogenous zones. The smells, make sure it smells good. Like, I don't mind the smell of sex. It can be funky mm. later when you're not fucking, but I like the smell of a man on top of me with his sweaty body, that little musky mm. with a K, not a T. Light some candles, make sure it was air fresher in there already or his cologne or whatever. The sight. If he not fine, put somebody fine on the TV. Imagine somebody fine. The stuff that you're saying, just the more senses that are heightened, the more tinkly your body feels. Um, But go ahead. And you, you know, be breath. open. You, I am, no, you really listen to you. You really got to be open to it because even when like Bay was, when Lieutenant Bay was letting me watch porn at first, I was trying to like satisfy him. I was embarrassed almost to be like, I was like, well, what porn do you want to watch? Cause at first we were watching it together before he started eating my pussy. And so he was like, well, I was like, I want to watch lesbian porn. He was like, okay, cool. I was like, well, do you want to see black girls or white girls? I typically watch white girl porn because I don't like the production of black porn. They need to get better. And so we, start, he was like, well, let's watch black girls. So we started watching the black girls and I was like, I'm not going to get anywhere. And so the, and he was like, well, baby, watch what you want to watch. So I had to put the white girls on. And so, cause they just, it's just the production just be better. I want to support the black porn, but they got to take the socks off and the weave needs to stop showing the tracks. And so I was like, okay, baby, I'm going to do what I want to do. And I put the white girls on. I think there's nothing there. wrong with doing what you need to do to get off. Like, and I don't think that that's selfish. I think in your mind, you might need to tell yourself, be selfish for a moment. Stop mm-hmm. focusing so much on the other person. Because I think something else that people forget, men and women, mainly us, but men too sometimes, they're going to enjoy the fact that you're enjoying it. So do what you need to do to enjoy exactly. yourself. Mm-hmm. It's not just and about don't be you performing. Mm-hmm. I don't be ashamed. I'd be like, do this, do this, do this, or I just oh, stop no. talking or whatever. <laughs> this, I literally picture you. This Yo, so I literally I, picture you having sex off of what you say <laughs> during the podcast. I'm like, I already know she's probably a savage in the bed. I was having sex the other day. This nigga called me a demon when I was sucking his dick. And I was like, mm, I guess y'all take that as, I guess his soul was leaving his body. So I was like, well, I'll take that as a compliment. And I kept going. And he was like, you need to stop. I was like, mm mm. So I was trying to snow, soul snatch. So I'll tell that story as my cocktail. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Let me tell y'all I was something. Like, you I was scared, huh? <laughs> I was having sex with him. I didn't get called a demon. But this nigga was like, fuck me like you would fuck Drake. I said, nigga, have you been listening to the show? Probably. <laughs> he probably <laughs> was. You gotta Don't say you yourself, say right? <laughs> so, Brittany, I'm curious to know. Um, I've been very curious to know this because it, you know, taste changes the taste of your bodily fluids. But does that include your booty juices? Mm. <laughs> that is a great question. I what I, booty juices exactly are you speaking of? Because I'm curious to know. I want to talk into that part but you know what i'm sure that it does because it changes the taste of your bodily fluids so yes if he's eating your ass it should be sweeter for sure oof (laughs) coronavirus isn't going anywhere even if outside is open okay it's harder and harder the longer that we stay in the house to meet new people and that's why i'm back online trying to date and this time i'm using okcupid 
Dating apps in the past haven't really worked out for me until I downloaded OkCupid. And with all the time at home, all I have to do is sort through these profiles. OkCupid is all about matching people with what matters most to them, from food to politics and everything in between. The app actually asks you a whole lot of questions. They're really thought provoking and they'll help you to get to your perfect match. A whopping 93% of people on OkCupid are virtual dating right now. So go ahead and download the OkCupid app. It's completely free and you can meet someone interesting without even leaving your couch. You might even get a little virtual date in. Join me on OkCupid today. What makes you think about booty juices and what juices are leaking out of your booty? One of my homegirls said the same thing and I'd be like, Whoa. what juices are y'all talking about? No. Are you, I, your booty don't get wet? I don't, your booty hole don't get wet. Don't nobody be playing with my booty. You know, I don't I like got that. booty hole juice. I got booty hole juice and it's, it's not, I know some people are going to be like, yeah, it's pooty juice. It's not pooty juice. It's booty hole juice. What are any of these juices? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pooty juice. Like diarrhea? Oh. No, me. that's not what it is. It's just booty hole juice. Like my sweat? booty hole gets wet. When my pussy gets wet, my booty hole gets wet. My butt hole gets wet. Hmm. That's very interesting. <laughs> Okay, I'll take y'all word for it. Y'all don't act like y'all don't got booty hole juice. But you know, I told you, I clench up. I don't like stuff back there. I don't like re- being on the receiving end of anything in my butt. So I think for me, that's why it's just like, mm-mm. like how your pussy can dry up when you hear some shit you don't like or see something that you don't like. Maybe that's what my butt does. I've just never heard of these things, but okay. Huh? I'm, I love anal sex. Do you? Wait. Sexy loves anal sex. Oh, me too, Britt. Me too. So you know about the booty hole juice? Well, I know that my yeah, for sure. You're. I don't even need lube when I have anal sex. I don't either. Okay, how do y'all? Okay, well, Brittany, how do you feel about eating ass? Do you like it? I've done it. Mm -hmm. Gosh. I've done it before, mm-hmm. but I didn't like it, and I kind of taste a little boo boo, a little boo boo. So I was like, "No, I'm done. We're wrapping it up." Do you like to receive it? <laughs> and did you tell him that you taste yeah. it like, "Oh, you didn't wipe good"? I tasted some dingleberries. I like oh, blackberries, not dingleberries. <laughs> exactly. No, I was like, "No, we're wrapping this up." But um, I love to receive anal. You know, I mean, to receive. Uh, <laughs> That's what's on your mind. <laughs> See, the only shit that I, I tasted was my own. own. But yeah, I was one and done. That kind of like threw me all off. I was like, I'm never going to even try this or attempt this again. This is disgusting. No, because you know what? Men really? don't even. The more to- nastier it is, I like it. I feel you want like to men- taste dookie in your mouth? I didn't want to taste the dookie in my mouth, but when I did get a little dookie in my mouth, I was like, oh, wow, there's dookie in my mouth. <laughs> you know, earlier I was having a conversation with somebody and they were like y'all are really nasty do you ever think this will come back to haunt you and right now I'm feeling it <laughs> the hell is going on today this is like freaky Monday what the fuck Why did, <laughs> wait how did you taste your booty juices Monday. how did you taste what? it it, it, it's, I was dealing with a Middle Eastern man, and you know what they say about the Middle Eastern man? They're a part of the Hummus Club. And the yeah. Hummus Club is, they like to, I always thought it was a lie, but it's not a lie. They he One day, he stuck his finger so deep in my booty hole, I didn't realize that shit came out on it. He put, you know how sometimes somebody will be fingering you and they'll put their fingers in your mouth? He did that, but it was in my booty hole. He was really digging around. And then he put it in my mouth and I felt creamy substance. And then I was like about to throw up and it was shit. It was my shit. Medina, have you ever heard of an enema? Yeah. Do you use it? Because well, you like anal this. a lot. So I would think this would be a part of your regular <laughs> routine before oh, yeah. date night. And I'm just wondering how you having these shitty ass experiences. Literally. You don't do you use that ever? Wait, what did never? You say, what if did she you? has she heard of an enema, like a booty douche? I've heard of. I've had an enema. I've had an enema. 
Do you use but it before? here's the thing. Maybe that way you won't taste your booty juices again. Well, no, because I'm like- not letting anybody dig up in my booty. But I didn't know he was going to dig up in my booty. But he dug, he dug up in my booty. And I didn't know there was shit. It's not like I was like, yeah, put the shit in my mouth. I didn't know it was on my fingers. I just, I'm cool with licking booty hole fingers. But not with shit on it. But it was I, sexy. Something like, about it was sexy. Yeah. I just feel like you can't really clean good in there. Like, unless you're like, I don't know. Like, I just don't feel like it's really clean. I just, oof. Yeah. I don't mind yeah. Maybe if you're vegan, I'm if you're a raw vegan. vegan. Yeah. <laughs> We're all, like, mm. all right um, let's let's get out of, out of our booties and let's move to the fray let's talk about sucking dick um so you know these pills i was like when i gave them to somebody i was like okay so i'll swallow today i want to see if there's a difference in the taste because it doesn't normally taste bad but i definitely think it has a distinct taste it's because this particular guy, I feel like he eats the same thing pretty much all the time. Um, so diet is pretty consistent. Not unhealthy. Like eat more fruit, nigga. But anyway, um, what are some tips that you have for swallowing and just giving head to a man in general? I like to be sloppy. Mm-hmm. My favorite, thing, I love to deep throat. Like I like to put my, I like. Give us some tips for that. I just go in. I just. Can you open your mouth really wide? Oh, yeah. I can't. I like, think it's just. It all the way to the mm-hmm. Do you like lay a certain way? Oh, no, I don't lay. I actually prefer to be like on my knees. <laughs> Like on, <laughs> like on the floor on the knees while he's standing. I'm just trying to envision while he's standing or like he laying down or like what? Yeah, standing. Mm-hmm. Either that, either that, or walk. So walk. I'm on my knees. Mm-hmm. Um, or if he's laying down and I'm like, how do you explain it? Like I am like over his dick mm-hmm. and just sucking it like that but i'm on my knees Mm -hmm. i really Um, enjoy being on my knees on the floor like it makes me feel i like being degraded during sex same um as long as we have an understanding like not like seriously degraded like you actually don't have respect for me but like someone who has respect for me you already know me and you just know that this is what i like while you're fucking me i really like for you to like even make me crawl on the floor over to your dick and the harder the floor like if it's hardwood floor and it's hurting my knees, the better head I'll give you. I want arthritis. <laughs> what is happening today? It's quarantine. What I have found now, I, I am need not. To feel. I'm horrible. not a deep throater. <laughs> not a deep throater. I have sciatica that keeps flaring up. Uh, I'm an old lady, right? So I really prefer to lay beside him and like sneak up under the covers and get to him that way. But when I do want it to go back a lot, if the bed that we're at is high enough, there's got to be a good ratio with his height, with his height and the height of the bed mattress and everything. If you lay back like on your back and hold your head over the edge of the bed and then he's standing in front of you, like on the floor but you're on the bed i the angle when you're like this for me it's easier for it to go back farther it's like it stops like my head is wide but it's not long this way or something so sometimes i have difficulty so that's one way that it can get in there easier and it's not as uncomfortable and you can sneak around and get to the ass of the balls and the gooch and all that good stuff back there and then also um I like to suck dick from scratch sometimes if I really am trying to like deep throat it. So like when it's soft, suck dick from scratch. when it's soft and then you oh, let it grow. Mm-hmm. So when it's, when it's soft and you know, it's a, typically smaller, some people know, but I don't like monster cocks. It's not my thing, but um, when it's smaller and then it just gradually gets bigger, it's like, 
it's not as shocking to my throat, I guess, because I will gag and I will throw the fuck up. But it's just easier. But the other day, I don't know what happened. I had some of those pills. I had a little wine and I had a little CBD oil. I was just feeling very relaxed and at ease. And I think my throat muscles were just really relaxed and I was able to get it back there without doing all my other tricks. But that's a rare occasion. That's when I got called. Well, see, a so that's something that I have learned about myself since I've gotten older. What? My my gag reflexes are getting worse the older I get. Hmm. Mm. Like worse, like you're not gagging or worse, like you are gagging. Like I am gagging and normally oh. I, I don't. Oh, now I'm like, oh, what? Mm. <laughs> For me, in my experiences, the more gagging, the better. Like the niggas that I love when I gag. Like, Do you have you ever thrown up on their dick? Yeah, no, 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 no. I've never thrown up. That's on what dick. I'm afraid of. <laughs> oh, I've thrown up on their dick. I've done it, but I don't want that to happen again. It was throw embarrassing. <laughs> What'd you say? Like a full throw up? <laughs> I thrown up on it was, I threw it up and then I sucked it back up. Like it never left my mouth, but like I was actively sucking his dick. And so I threw up and I was like a chip mill out. <laughs> I threw I up on our way to back. dinner in the car. Sucking his dick? Yeah. Mm. 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 All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and, okay, so moving on from dick sucking. Um, pussy eating. How do y'all like y'all's pussy ate? Somebody told me they like theirs nibbled on, like, bite it. That's, hard. That's not, you? But nibble and mm-hmm. stay, in my, stay in my spot. Stay in my G spot. Don't go left. Or what's that? Don't go right. Don't go left. Just stay right there. Really hard, too. Do you like mm. fingers? You said really hard? Really hard. Like, like, wait, lick, what are they doing really hard? <laughs> licking, sucking, licking, sucking, not biting. I don't like you to bite hard, but you can nibble for sure. You can nibble, nibble but on just, your clit or like your pussy lips. No, on my clit. Don't even, mm-hmm. don't even bother with the pussy lips. I like for mine to be massaged while you do things to my clit. Like, just rub it. Massage so, with your fingers or the lips? Well, with his fingers, yeah. Massage. My lips, my pussy lips with his fingers while he sucks the clit. I like that. He can put the fingers inside too. So I I really want you to eat my pussy. Like imagine when you're when you have an ice cream cone and you have two or three scoops of ice cream on the cone. It's a very hot summer day outside and you're trying to slurp up the drips of ice cream before they drop because it's melting. I like when a nigga eats my pussy like he's eating ice cream. You lick and you suck at the same it's like Right. Okay. I want you to do that. It's like eating ice cream. That's the best way to get my legs going. I, I'm losing control of my body, and I, at this point, I might pay your bills. What? <laughs> you said that don't sound familiar to me <laughs> at all. Oh my god, y'all are funny. I just. <laughs> I, what was in this crown? I don't think I'm hearing things right. I think I'm hallucinating. <laughs> oh Jesus, I'm tired. I'm dead. Um, I I like that. I like toys. Do you guys like toys? Why I just started hat? getting into toys. It's giving my a shiver down toys. my ankle. I uh, I've never had a sexual relationship that he was willing to introduce toys ever. Was he and like intimidated? Life- Yes. Mm-hmm. I felt like my last relationship felt like it was like gay. Like anything extra was just like gay. I don't know. But I tried to introduce. Oh, he was insecure. Like, what we, he was like, what do we need to introduce toys for? And I'm like. Just to enhance things. Yeah. But he wasn't feeling. But my next relationship, I'm going in. We're going to have sex with toys. And that's just what it is. Because I feel mm-hmm. like that can help me sex so much. And you know what? With your next relationship, don't just bring the toys out and be like, let's try this. We're going to try this. Yeah, we're going to try this. And I guarantee you, if you're confident with it, that nigga is going to be like, okay. Say hello to my little friend. Mm -hmm. He'll be like, what? Like, I'm not giving you the option. I don't want you to think it's a test. 
just yeah. did the shit because I said so. Thank you. Suck your dick later. Yeah. <laughs> Do you hey, want me to come, nigga? Right. Okay. Like, mm-mm. I think I used to be nervous when I was younger about like how guys would react to certain things I wanted to try. And it happens every now and then. I catch myself slipping. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, but most of the time now it's like, no, like this is what it is. I also think if they've heard my show, they're scared of me and they expect something like that. And when I'm just like, I just want to regular, just want to, you know, like number one, I didn't need the number 10 deluxe today. Just classic sex, you know, you know and that's good. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. I wish I was having sex oh. today. Oh, well. <laughs> I wish. Oh, girl, I can't yeah. wait until Friday when I touch down in Dallas. I, and fucking mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. wait mind you guys i'm in california so everything is shut down is everything shut down for you guys right now mm-hmm. oh we are shut girl down. we live in the south you know they don't want to shut shut nothing they down so, they're so petty here so i'm like damn i had a wax appointment for last week and i had a dick appointment arranged around my wax appointment and then my Naturally. wax appointment was canceled because every, they shut everything down so now i gotta go to this like Speak easy lady who's gonna <laughs> wax me who I've never had before. Uh-huh. But I have been lined up, honey. I said, Oh, my appointment's Tuesday. I need some dick Tuesday night. Mm-hmm. Cheers to that. Cheers. Mm-hmm. I wish I had something in my cup, but my production crew is shitty today. It's a bunch of <laughs> children and somebody who's not paying attention. <sighs> Um, as badly as this, con- I love the, the way our conversation is going. I want Kiki to make her mama's surprise birthday party on time. <laughs> um, um, so we are going to move on to indecisive Diane. And when we come back, we'll move on to advice and Britt, you will help us give some advice to our listeners. Would you stop thinking about what everyone wants? Stop thinking about what I want, what he wants, what your parents want. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What do you want? What do you want? All right, Diane, what's a cute little date idea you have for us this week? Hey ladies, it's me, Indecisive Diane. And this week, I'm not going to give you an establishment. I'm just going to give you an idea. Okay, girl, what's your idea? You know, we like being creative. So listen, with everyone, well, not everyone, but with a lot of folks still working from home, here's what I want you to do. If you live with your bae, if you don't live with your bae. If you have children, if you don't have children. If you like his kids, if you don't like... Okay, girl, get to the point. So listen, wake up in the morning, early in the morning, grab some eggs, grab some avocados. I love a good avocado toast. Make your man's a nice breakfast spread right before he goes to work even if he is just going to work in the living room grill some onions do those eggs maybe some egg whites make him some fresh orange juice take care of your man's lady and serve it in bed and then maybe you want to go down suck his dick a little bit you know get it in your throat have him taste some of those taste vitamins okay girl thank you no problem ladies goodbye goodbye we are back from indecide I then Diane, and we are going to move on to one of our faves where we be trying to help y'all, but it be you know we be trying we not we not uh, doctors. <laughs> But Brittany, maybe you can give some advice. Can you have one pulled up? Yes. Okay. And remember, to, if you want advice, send it to askcocktails at gmail dot com. Okay. This one is very short. It says help. <laughs> My boyfriend wants to have a threesome. He asked me if I was okay with it. I said, yeah. In fact, I was kind of excited about it. The day of the threesome, I came in with a guy. Now he's mad that I'm cheating. Is he crazy or what? Girl, how do you just... Wait, what? Did she surprise it? Did she surprise it? That's how I took it. You sh- she, her and her boyfriend oh, talked about having a threesome. I'm sure he assumed you were going to bring another girl. He walks in, you walk in with another guy and he's like, what's the fuck? Now he's like, you already been fucking him. Now he mad that you cheating. And it's just like, well, damn, nigga, you said you want a threesome. Guess you should have been more specific. Um, is he tripping? Not That's not communicated. You got to be specific. You definitely have to communicate with the man. You're bringing another man into the bedroom. 100%. 
And you got to communicate when you want a threesome. You need to say if you want it to be a woman or a man. Mm -hmm. You need to talk about all aspects of it. And some people may not feel this way, but I think it's better to be proactive and set some boundaries. Like if you know that you're going to want to fight somebody, (coughs) if he brings another girl over and she's kissing him in the mouth and you know that's going to set some stuff off and somebody's going to jail, probably you tell him, look, I'm cool with it. It can be a girl, but just whether you find her, I find her, she can't kiss you in the mouth. So if she tried to, you better turn that cheek. Right. And even when the th- when the third gets there, y'all need to go over the rules and the policies with them. Exactly. Yeah. Has to be rules and limitations. Yeah, too. Girl, you just, that was a communication error on both of y'all's ends. Mm-hmm. Talking about he mad because because you I know he was hot. I know he was hot. Girl, you're tripping, actually. So girl, why did you bring another man and not communicate that? Diane. But if, but if you've been fucking him, like send us a cocktail about what the sex is like with that other nigga. Cause I bet it's good if you just brought him over to your boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta be. This one says the subject is to orgasm or not to. Is that really a question? Hi, ladies. You can call me Nicole and I'm a new listener and I love your podcast. I'm a black woman and I am very sexual and your booty licking is all up my alley. I'm currently in a relationship with the most sexually attentive partner I have ever had. We have been together for five years and he is my life partner. He is a cancer and I'm an Aries. So our sexual style is hot and ready. But there is one thing. I cannot have a natural orgasm with only his dick if I want an orgasm. I have to rub my clit or use a vibrator. Am I tripping or is this natural? Now, he has tried everything from eating me out to playing with me in order to get me to come. We have tried porn and all of the above. But for some reason, his dick does, his dick does not alone make me come. He will try to hold off his orgasm till I reach mines. Mines. But it never happens. I feel like I'm constantly letting him down. I don't know what to do. Have you ladies had an orgasm from only penetration? I'm 28 and I have to crack this code. I want to enjoy his dick for the rest of my life. Please help. Are are there things you do to get the orgasm train to come? What has been your experience in the orgasm department? Sorry if y'all have already covered this topic. I'm a new listener. You ladies are wonderful. Help, Nicole. Nicole is over there. Gone and sad, honey. Um, Nicole, I think that you it's almost like you think it's going to be like this eight count to get you to your orgasm. You got to get out of your head about it. And if you can, she said she could get there with like toys and stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So what is, ask yourself, what is it about the toys that makes you feel good? What are you doing with the toys? Are they um, like a suction toy? Is it vibrating? Is it doing these things? Use the toy with him show him what the toy is doing that you like that's really gonna have you like oh i can't breathe i'm about to die like show him experience it with him but really ask yourself what is it and see is it something that he can mimic um everybody doesn't achieve (coughs) orgasm some people actually can't so i but you know that you can you just haven't done it with him um Mm -hmm. Whether he feels bad or not, he can keep trying to please you, but you've got to figure out what it is that is actually pleasing you. It's not just the toy because every toy may not do that. Think about that and then, you know, talk to him about it and try some things like relax. Stop trying to get to that point. Enjoy the moment Mm -hmm. and it'll be easier to get to that point. And then I would like to add to that, um, Nicole, sometimes what I've been doing lately with Lieutenant Bay, because I'm a toy comer too, and I can't come off dick penetration. Um, I already said this. I watched the type of porn that I like to watch, which is lesbian porn, while he's either fucking me or eating my pussy. And that has helped a tremendous amount. But then also if i know i'm gonna see him like i'm gonna see him this weekend i haven't been using my toy i'm holding it all for him so sometimes you could be over toying it and you might need to just give the toy a little break if you know y'all gonna be fucking and don't fuck don't fuck with the toy and just too much stimulation too much stimulation and the third thing is with my pussy i've learned to get me to squirt and i just learned this literally a couple weeks ago you have to really dig inside of my pussy 
Like I've never birthed a child, but it's almost like you got to dig inside of my pussy. Like I, I have. Have. But but like you you just gotta do it. You gotta dig inside and my spot is like dip, dug up in there and up into the right. Right. <laughs> I you know what? Cause I'm the same way. That's why I said right, because I feel you one hundred percent. The way you just gave directions <laughs> up into the right. Like they about to dive up in there. <laughs> right. You about to GPS <laughs> Okay. But, oh my gosh. Yeah. Sometimes that nigga gotta go further and deeper into you to really get you to get there. Your right. body is a wonderland. Just let him explore. And you do the same. I can't explore. Like I know that I'm not coming off of penetration, period. I know that I'm not. So mm-hmm. just stay here in this spot. <laughs> gonna- and we're good. Just keep going right there. I can't come off of penetration. Can you guys? I have. Yeah. I'm tell y'all about it. I changed my mind. I'm not telling the demon story. I'm going to tell the other one. I forgot. I got a couple in the bank. Uh, oh. Now, let me hurry up before these kids come out here. So, listen, y'all. Um, you want some advice from us? Email it to us. Askcocktails at gmail.com. Now, it's time to move on to the cocktail. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey, uh, this for you, Brit. She says, or he, hi, Kiki and Medina, long time, first time. After episode 193 of the show, I asked my lady, oh, it's from a guy, about whether she tried taste. She said yes and sent me a screenshot of her order. We had plans to see each other this weekend, so I ordered some for myself too. Her order arrived last Sunday and mine came on Monday. We immediately started taking them daily. They are easy to take with water, but I took mine with food. We arrived to our hotel for the weekend and relax. Then it's time to see if the vitamins work. Mm, and oh my God, Usher singing voice. <laughs> I couldn't stop eating her pussy. She tastes... Mm, <laughs> she tastes to me like either of the strawberries each time. I don't know what the fuck you meant. I tried to get it together, but I don't know what you meant. On Saturday night, I noticed that her taste and smell was irresistible. And I asked, was she taken? I took two of the tastes and she orgasms. I was like, okay, then. And she said, I took three of them. I couldn't get the enough of her we'd fuck go to sleep wake up fuck again eat take a nap until we both tapped out after our first two rounds she got into my top five of all time she is also a listener of the show and shared her thoughts on taste vitamins here's what she said they're easy to take and digest the pills made me feel like i was more amused or wetter than normal I could tell that I tasted better when I could taste my own juices. No adverse side effects at all. When asked how it worked on me, she replied, very clean with a trace of sweetness. Thank you for recommending this product, Kiki and Medina. Sincerely, Carrie. Side note, I just want to take the time to thank you guys, Kiki and Medina, because you guys have boosted sales tremendously and you guys have always given honest reviews. So I just want to really thank you guys because it's crazy. I have so many orders from Atlanta and I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Atlanta trying to get it profit, okay? <laughs> Atlanta trying to get profit right now. They said COVID who? Honey, come on. That's love. Yeah. Thank, yeah. You, yeah. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you for sharing that with us because sometimes we'd be wondering, are, 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 is it are listeners it? listening? Right. So no, it's especially me as the producer yeah. of the podcast. Like these and reviews. We don't lie, bitch. We don't lie. I mean, it's like really, I just can't thank you guys enough. For real, for real. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Okay. So I'll go next and we'll let Brittany go last. Okay. So recently I had an impromptu date. We just going to call it a date for lack of a better term. But I was out at this restaurant one day enjoying, you know, a little happy hour, uh, social distancing, of course, enjoying um, champagne and some oysters. I heard they're aphrodisiac. So I was trying to get ready because I knew I had a dick appointment that night. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, my dear friend hit me up. I was like, hey, what you doing? I was like, oh, I'm just, you know, send him a picture of what I was doing. He was like, well, hey, I have to go to the mall. The place I was at was right by the mall. And so was my hotel. And so um, he was like, uh, I got to go get this shirt. And then is it cool if I meet you? So I'm like, okay. I didn't think he was going to meet me. I thought I was going to go to his house or he would come to my room. Um, I didn't expect to go anywhere. Like when I see him, I can't focus on anything else. So it's like, let's just get to business. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. he comes and meets me at the place. We have some drinks. We're hanging out. And so then we go next door to the hotel. So not only am I making a mad dash to clean up because I was not expecting a visitor, but I took. OK, so when he texts me about being at the mall up the street, I took um, three tastes. I know the bottle says two, but I figure. It could be sweeter, you know. Let me just make sure it's hidden right because I've been drinking this champagne. I'll never listen to the rules. I already took two and I knew what that did, so I'm just testing it out. You know, I'm being a little guinea pig. So I was like, I know what it did last time. And now I've got competition because I want him to be feeling like I be feeling. Like I feel like we compete with each other, right? Um, and I rarely ever win, but I was trying to win today. I came to win. So I took those. I took my She Orgasms. And then She Orgasms also has a rum honey tincture. So you put it under your tongue so it works like way quicker, you know, like just within minutes instead of having to wait an hour or two or whatever. So I've taken all this shit, right? And I'm just sitting there like. You got your own personal cocktail going on. <laughs> right. I made my own personal cocktail like the old people say. So I'm sitting there and I was like, well, look, are you ready? He was like, you don't want nothing else? No. Are you ready? Let's go. So I've taken all this stuff. We go back to the room or whatever. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> so we get back and I had to do some things on my computer. And uh he just like started taking my clothes off. Like I'm sitting at the desk like, hey, give me like five minutes. I just have to wrap this up. Give me like five minutes. He was like, okay. But then he's like taking my clothes off. He picks me up, puts me on the bed. And I was like, mm, you're a strong man because I ain't that little. But um, he, puts me on the be- <laughs> he puts me on the bed and then he's just like kissing me. And it has been so long since I have had like a good, deep passionate kiss i don't like i will kiss everybody but i don't always like the kisses you know what i mean you don't be liking the kisses Bitch, I some, be, pe- some people some people but you know no i like to kiss but i'm saying like sometimes you kiss somebody and they're not a good kisser so you don't want to kiss them anymore that's what i mean mm. but like him it's like great kissing so we're like kissing and he's taking everything off of me and then all of a sudden he starts devouring my pussy so then after a minute he was like and then he looked at me. I said, what? He was like, he didn't say anything. He just looked at me. He kept making a face. And then he just went back to town. So at first I was getting kind of nervous. Like, oh my God, did all this shit like make a bad reaction? Like, did I do too much and fuck it up? He was like, it just tastes different. It just tastes so good, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, well, yeah. So anyway, he ends up fucking the shit out of me. We're in all these positions. My sciatica couldn't got flared up. And this is the nigga who started the shit years ago. He thought I was joking when I said, you fucked up my back. And now I regularly go to the chiropractor. He was like, oh, I thought you were joking. Nah, nigga, I'm for real. Now pop my back back right. So anyway, we're fucking everything is great. We're in all these different positions. I'm like super sweaty. And then he was like, get on top of me. Whatever he say, I'm gonna do right and he fine too oh jesus so anyway i get on top of him and i'm feeling really confident Ooh, you this day the lord i shouldn't have he was probably like it and when i called on him this is probably why the next thing happened so i got eye tips right so i do my hand <laughs> like this because i look down like i'm on top of him and i'm looking down and i'm feeling all good i feel like i'm in my groove my back ain't hurting too bad you know i had enough of everything else that i need and i'm looking at a fine ass man I try to sweep the hair off that's sticking to my body. Bitch, it was my eye tip. He had fucked the eye tip up out my head. I don't know so if it was when we were doing it. from your room. Eye tip. 
it's like uh, micro links. It's like strand by strand extensions, basically. Okay. So it's so like he a gave you that, a bald spot. I don't know. It's in the back of my head. I don't care. I'll take 10 more of them. I could buy some hair. Ain't no thing. I can get a wig. I'm not worried about it because the experience was amazing and it was worth getting the hair ripped up out of my head. But that shit was right there. And I just, I said, ooh. And I just put it on the pillow and he just kind of smirked and we kept fucking and it was great. And then we both laid there for a while and then we took a shower and went on about our day because we both had other things to do. And it was just amazing. And I was just thinking about it for the rest of the night. And then I had every intention to see him again the next day and he had hit me up. But I had overbooked myself. I'll be back tomorrow, though. And that's Wait, what I got to. Wait, huh? hold on. Okay. You overbooked yourself for more dick appointments? or you just No, no, no. Okay. Family and friends that live there okay. that I was trying to see. So, like, I was like, I would feel so shitty if I canceled on, like, my good girlfriend to get some dick when I just got some yesterday. So, like, Brittany, girl. now it's your turn. What is your cocktail? I'm going to go with... So uh, we made dinner reservations. He came to pick me up. We're on our way to dinner. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, let me just pull it out real quick. And let me just see what it, what I can do. Mm -hmm. so we're on the 405. If you live, I'm sorry, I'm on live too. So if you're in the LA area, the 405. It's a busy ass freeway. Busy mm -hmm. ass freeway. Stop and go. And it's at six o'clock. So stop and go. Windows are tinted though. Windows are tinted. So I start sucking his dick. Um, and almost crash, mind you. So I'm like, this shit got to be crazy. So <laughs> I'm going in. Um, he's like, no, I can't do this. We have to pull over. We pull over on the side of the 405 freeway during rush hour traffic. And he fucks the dog shit out of me. I want that to happen to me. <laughs> on the side my, of the My cocktail freeway. is so short. My cocktail what kind of car were y'all in? What'd you say? What kind of car were y'all in? A Porsche. Mm. A Porsche. It, like I a knew Porsche. it was going to be a nice like, one. Uh, what's the truck? What's the truck called? Uh, the Cayenne. 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 So. I know a Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> wait i'm on live too wait <laughs> I hope my exes are in this um so we pull over like i said on the four on the side of the 405 and he's mm -hmm. the dog shit him, but i fucking back so if you've had sex in a car you know pretty much i mean you can do other positions but you can ride the best when you're in Lambo. the car i hate car sex really I fucking hate car sex. I fucking I hate car I'm sex. I don't have any sex. I'm a Scorpio. I don't know what you guys are. I'm a Scorpio. I can have sex. Libra. Have Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. I don't care if we're in a fucking chapel. <laughs> it's going down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But we pull over on the side. I'm fucking him. He's fucking me. We orgasm. Um, and then we just go to dinner like nothing ever happened. And then on the way back, we do the same thing. This time, I'm just giving him head though. Mm. I haven't had any car action in a long what? time. Oh. I need to because I don't go nowhere but up the hill to public. I, and I hope that I don't. I'm glad you enjoyed your car action. Oh, yeah. I don't enjoy car action. I need to spread my booty hole open. And I can't spread my booty hole open in a goddamn portion. <gasps> I feel you. Okay. Feel you. That, was, that was like great for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing your cocktail. Um, remember, if you guys ever want to share a cocktail for us to read on the show, you can email it to us at cocktails.atl at gmail.com. Brittany, thank you so much for joining us today. Tell everybody where they thank can find you. you and where they can purchase the taste vitamins. So you can purchase the Taste Vitamins at www.tastevitainc.com and you can follow us on Instagram at Taste Vita or at Taste Vita. Okay, yeah, make sure y'all get the pills. Use code COCKTAILS10. The ingredients are listed on there. I hope that you love it. I love it. Medina's tried it. She's had some great experiences. We keep getting great <laughs> reviews from other people. Just go ahead and try it, you guys. And um, if that's it, 
you know, check out our stuff that we're working with and what we're working on. Follow us. Check the description yep. box for all the links for everything we've talked about today. We'll include the link for the Taste of Vitamins as well as Dipsy and the Classy Base Cookbook. Um, and follow us on Instagram at Cocktails Podcast. I'm at Kiki Said So. And I'm at Coffee Bean Dean. And until next week, you guys, goodbye. Goodbye. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.